All right, here we are with more Mega Man Maker. Today we will be playing through Turbo Factory, uh, created by Draco Nero, with 41 plays and a score of positive 9, a forum posted level here. Uh, yeah, and as you could see, I already booted up the stage. I got like 30 seconds in or whatever. Uh, and yeah, my commentary came out like crap, so I just wanted to... I wanted to restart. <laughs> Basically, that's what happened. And we have the Needle Cannon. The Needle Cannon probably isn't the best weapon <laughs> against us, but then again, maybe it is. It killed it much faster than I thought it would. Hmm. Uh, maybe we'll rock the Quick Boomerang here for a bit. Mm hmm. Alright. Yeah, one of the nice things with the Quick Boomerang is that it consumes little energy, um, so... Uh, although it doesn't do much damage, you know, uh, and hasn't much range horizontally anyway, you know, it has some vertical range, I guess, <laughs> since it's going an arc there. Um, but yeah, the nice thing, in my opinion about it either way, is that... Oh yeah, look at that! Look at it's so nice against these guys, if you're just standing properly. It's so nice against the Sniper Yos. Uh, but yeah, the number one thing that I like about it is that you can just simply hold down the button as you're running and... You know... He still fires. Mega Man, that is. <laughs> huh. Wait. One, two, three. How... How? Why aren't the flames like on top of the flame dispenser there or whatever, huh? I wonder if they changed something up like with the graphics there, the Mega Man Maker team. Interesting. Or maybe Draconetto knows of some trick that I'm not aware of. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Look at this quick boomerang action. <laughs> oh no, uh, I would have preferred to stay up there. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I know I can't get back. Ah, oh, that's a shame. There probably are goodies up there. No, there are none. Huh. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if you actually... What would happen if you enter the screen up there? <laughs> like, you could totally enter the screen there. And probably be stuck. <laughs> I wonder if that's an oversight on Draconetto's uh, um, part there, or... Maybe you can't get in there, I'm just not seeing it. Either way, um, uh, from one thing to another, I really like the visuals that we have got going on in here. Uh, looks very nice. Huh. Very trainy. <laughs> oh man. And Sparkman is kicking my ass! How often can you say that? <laughs> not very often. Okay, but I should have him. Very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I really do hope that they refilled my quick boom ring there. Actually, let's do this. I want more energy for it. So I'm just going to restart. And get some more. Nice. Okay. Now we should be good to go. Uh, well, there's a lot of things going on in here. Um, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. This. I don't know which game that tile piece is the, from there, but. Pretty interesting when it's like kind of stuck to the magma dispenser there. <laughs> or built into it, you know. <laughs> huh, so something tells me when I go to the left here, so that's what I'm gonna do, and nope. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I went for the obvious and I got punished. 
Oh, look at that. The the ice tiles are used for windows. <laughs> yeah, before we got the ice tiles there, um, the <laughs> usual way people would make windows with me with you know with the ring band tiles from Mega Man 4. Uh, but this looks this actually looks better, I think anyway. <laughs> With the ice instead. <clears throat> yeah. And some of these rooms definitely feel very... Capcom-esque, I guess you could say. Especially this room here. Like a conveyor belt. An enemy slightly elevated above. Firing down at you. Uh, typical. <laughs> typical Capcom. Enemy placement there, so to speak. Oh yeah, I, I, I failed to mention so. This stage is actually inspired by, uh, by Turbo. What's it called? <laughs> What's it called? Um, uh, Turbo Man. Is that what it's called? Damn, I, I almost wanna <laughs> go to Google and <laughs> check it out now. <laughs> but oh my god! Oh my. Oh my, now I'm going to look like a fool there, why? <sighs> Alright, so now here, since I'm backtracking, I know to go down here to get the heat tank, so... That's very nice, there you see! Magma thing there, wow! <sighs> what? What happened? <laughs> I died again! Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? This was... <sighs> ever since I died to my own failure there, everything has just gone to heck. <laughs> everything has just gone to heck. Oh, what the hell? I guess we'll be keeping in those failure moments, but yeah. What the hell, man? <laughs> Cutting out again. Oh yeah, look at this. This here is the issue. There are spikes here. Oh man, yeah, there is probably, that's probably not a good idea having these spikes here, um, because like, if you just jump up from down here, you'll actually just instantly kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. That should probably not be there. <laughs> oh well. But yeah, at least now I know why I died. Uh, so yeah, I guess... <laughs> oh, yes, I guess we'll just continue on from here. This is probably good enough here. No! Oh! <laughs> what? Oh my god. Cutting back. Oh, I'm not doing this on purpose. This is just. Oh! Cutting back. Alright, finally, I'm back, after like, so many failed attempts, so many failed attempts, <laughs> it was, it's just been horrible, <laughs> I just been trying to get back as fast as I could, and I, I continuously went into traps and died, and yeah, it all started with me making an ass of myself, so yeah, I'm just happy that that's all over, <laughs> all over with. Oh, why do you can just barely up over him? Huh. Just barely, but it, it makes him kind of more interesting because usually he's very easy to jump over. Huh. Yeah, so he definitely is a little bit harder in this boss room here. I wonder if you dodge that attack. Yeah, how can you dodge that attack now? You probably can. Interesting, either way. I kind of wanna uh, try and keep him alive, but no, I don't know about that because now it looks very grim here. Oh no! Oh no, he's gonna get me. <laughs> I had such a clean fight, and then I died. Wow, what a mess of a video this has been. A complete wreck. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, you just gotta jump very early. Dude. Oh! <laughs> no! No, don't do this! Oh, 
Oh, he faked me. I thought he would go for the ball attack again. Then he shot that freaking stupid thing. <laughs> the plasma grenade or whatever it is. <laughs> Alright. I got him this time. I got him. Oh my goodness, that was close. Oh, no! Shoot, man. Nice. Okay. No, oh, I jumped too early. Oh, no. Oh, he's gaining in on me. Oh, my God. No, my god, 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 don't die now. Oh. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, yo, 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 that was so close. Such a close call. Such a freaking close call there. Oh, god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, what is, <laughs> what is there to say? Uh, Besides my failure there, <laughs> you know, pretty nice uh, stage overall. My favorite part probably were the outside, you know, in the whole train area there, or you know, when you ran from train car to train car. That looked pretty nice. Uh, it was pretty, it was pretty cute, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like that part. Um, let's see here. Um, gimmick wise, there wasn't anything too outstanding. Like we had the. Uh, regular, you know, magma beam jumping, um, and we had the standard fire, you know, fire traps going up and down. It was a pretty standard level, you know, overall, you know, pretty fair enemy placement, pretty fair gimmick placement. The only, the only foul strike there, I guess, <laughs> would be that one place, you know, where we had the spikes off screen that I went up into at one point. That was kind of funny, <laughs> uh, having me die to that, but yeah. Um, there probably should not be spikes there. I don't know why they are there. Maybe they are there for, you know, an artistic effect, I guess. Um, but yeah, if the player does indeed jump up there, um, instead of grabbing the ladder for whatever reason, um, <laughs> they will just bite their heads on the spikes and uh, get sent back there. Quite a few screens, but yeah. Either way, overall a pretty fun level to play there, Draconetto. Uh, the boss room actually was pretty fun as well. Um, you know, a slightly more challenging version of what is his name? Grenade Man? Uh, Assault Man? <laughs> I, I don't remember his name. <laughs> uh, just whatever. Um, it, it was an interesting fight of him, uh, of him anyway. You know, having the oil there uh, made him slightly more challenging. Uh, it was slightly harder to move around. Uh, you know, thanks to it pulling you down, you can't really jump. So, jumping over him and jumping over his uh, bombs that he sent towards you there definitely was quite a bit harder than it usually was so yeah uh, overall pretty interesting level there so yeah yeah i think that was all yeah <laughs> so yeah i'll just leave it at that um thank you guys for watching and have a nice day <laughs>